Hi, congratulations on winning the FitGo V2. Some of you have asked us how to configure the app and have had issues on uh, getting started with the routines. So today, let's take a quick look at how to configure the app and get started with the routines. So once you've uh, opened the box, the first thing you'll need to do is connect the antenna, which is available here. Insert the antenna and rotate it clockwise. And then switch on the device by holding the power button for a couple of seconds. And then you've got the device started. Once you've done that, switch on all the pods by holding it for four seconds. So we we'll do that. And once they are switched on, as you can see, they blink, what we call as heartbeat. So they keep uh, blinking just like a heartbeat. Okay, now that we've got the devices switched on, let's see how we can configure the You'll first need to download the app from the Play Store. To download the app, search for Fitga and click on the search button. You'll find an app called Fitga by Genio Labs. Install the app. It could take a few seconds to a few minutes depending on the speed of your internet. Once you've downloaded the app, launch the app. After launching the app, make sure that the devices are switched on, especially the dashboard. And once the dashboard is switched on, click on Add Devices. Once you've clicked on Add Device, choose a name of your choice. So if you've got bought multiple devices, you probably want to name them as Quote 1, Quote 2, Quote 3, etc. Uh, for the sake of simplicity, in this example, I will name it as Demo. The serial number and password can be entered by scanning the QR code which is available at the back of the box. So click on scan QR code. And once you scan the QR code, the devices are auto the content is auto-populated. You get the password and the serial number. Click on add. So you've got the device configured now. To connect to the device, just click on the device that you've configured gets connected now let's quickly create a simple routine the random routine click on the add button add routine I'll choose random single player as an example I'll call it as random for juniors random juniors the delay interval is the interval in seconds between each light coming on so i will take it as point zero point five the number of repetitions is the number of times each light should come on i'll make it as 10. the break duration is the duration in seconds between each set The controllers is the number of controllers that you want to use in an exercise. You, you might choose to use only four controllers or you want to have six controllers. I'll save this. So you've now configured a routine called random juniors. And this is only for the first time. The next time you come to use these routines, you just have to come here, click on connect device, click on routine that you want to play, click the play button. Before you start playing, you'll have to actually add the athletes that will be participating in the training. So here we'll add an athlete. I'll call the athlete name as Demo Athlete. Demo Athlete 1. And choose the color that the athlete would like to see when he's doing the routines. So let's choose... Uh, 
blue maybe for this athlete click save choose the athlete choose the routine that he used to play and then click the play button as you can see you can see the light on the dashboard the corresponding light that the athlete should respond to you can see in real time the time taken by the athlete to respond so the coach could be standing somewhere else and then monitoring the athletes these are stored for analytics to be used later so the coach can actually see how the athlete is performing and once the routine is done as you can see it shows up on the dashboard the time taken for each iteration and the total time this is also shown on the mobile app let's quickly take another example of uh, configuring, configuring the app to use it for innovative, innovatively measuring maybe a sit up or a push up so let's take an example of a sit up i'll configure the app by using the sequence mode so i'll choose sequence mode so in a sit up there are two reference points one is when they come up and the other one is when the head goes down so i'll name the routine as sit up delay interval i'll keep it as short as possible keep it as maybe 0 0.5 seconds uh, the repetitions let's say we want him to do just three repetitions and for a setup as i said there are two reference points so you need two pods we'll have the proximity sensor save so i choose the routine to run as setup and i click the play button so you have the first reference point which probably will be on top placed on a chair or maybe you could use a tripod and when the athlete comes up the next one lights up which will probably be somewhere here so they keep doing the sit up so they come up and they go down they come up and they go down so we configured three iterations so the, the three iterations are done and we've configured two sets so it's waiting for the second set to be completed And once the second set is completed, it shows you the total time as usual and the average time taken. Uh, with this, if you, if you go through the manual, you look at the 20 different templates that are available and you should be able to configure different routines. And once you've configured the different routines, the next time you come, you just click on the routine that, that's to be played and click the play button. Hope that was useful. Uh, if you've got further queries, you could always write to support at genio.co.in. I repeat, support at genio.co.in. You could also look at our Facebook page and Instagram to look at how innovatively the device is being used. Our Facebook page is www.fb slash genioindia. Here are some examples of how it's used on the court. You could also see innovatively how it's used to actually train for flexibility. The color mode, map mode, and memory mode are some of the templates that could be used to configure routines to improve the mental strength of the athlete. Because some of the things that happens when an athlete is completely tired is like he's not able to process uh, quickly. So these uh, templates and routines will help them think quickly and react quickly as well as we measure them and how quickly they react.
for charging the dashboards you have the chargers available here and then the charging cables below this uh, to check how much charge is available you could go click on the diagnostics it will tell you through, uh, through a graph how much percentage is available on each of these pods as well as the dashboard 